Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download a text file from your FTP server. Not only are we going to be downloading the text file, but we're going to be downloading its content and displaying into your uh, program. So first step, let's go ahead and download the states.tax uh, file provided on the link below. And upload it to your FTP server and let's go let's get to it go ahead and uh, start a uh, visual studio create a windows form application and now our first step it's going to be to add a rich text box to our form now that would we'll do that let's go ahead and dock to the parent container to make sure we can see the data in here now the second step will be to create uh, a method to download and retrieve the data from this text file in your FTP server. So let's go ahead and click private. Let's return a string and let's call it get uh, data from my FTP server. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, create a result string. Make sure it has some data in it. And let's uh, do a return here so we don't see this quickly line here. Okay. All right. The first step is so this is the result, result data from file. All right. Let's go ahead on the first step to, you know, connect to your FTP. It's to do an FTP web request. So, so FTP do FTP web request so let's go ahead and FTP web request as you see it's quickly in here we just might have to include a, uh, to the file so you're gonna have to include a system.net to your program and let's go ahead and call this request Uh, now let's create our web request. <clears throat> Oops, I forgot to put an equals here. Web request dot create. Let's make sure you create. Now here, what, what, what you need to do is you need two things. Oh, actually, you need a, you need two things for this for this example. First, it's your uh, FTP website. So your FTP website should look something like this. FTP dot slash two slashes www.yourftpsite.com plus uh, the file name. File name in this case is going to be states.txt. Okay. So for this sample here, I'm going to use my FTP site, which I create a, uh, a, a create a static class to use that. So FTP.info URL. So this is my URL. And now we're going to uh, set the request method to download a file. So all we need to do is request.method equals web request request methods dot dot ftp right ftp dot download file so this way we set in, set in the request to download a file there are other options here if you look at it you can append a file you can get the size delete a file you can even upload a file but for this example we're going to download a file so for after this we're going to set up credentials this is going to be the credentials of for your F, your own FTP server. Network credentials. And here you're going to need to, you're going to need login, your login and your password. 
So for this example, I'm going to have and use my login and my password. So FTP info dot login. And FTP info dot password. All right. So now we set up the request. Now, after we set up a, a request to pull the file, we need to set up a response, like, like a result. So let's initialize FTP response. So FTP web response equal response. Web response. So from this request here, we're going to get the response. We're going to use get response from it. That way, we will be getting the response from this request. And now let's go ahead and open the readers to read the, the data from that response. So it should be stream here. Let's go ahead and a uh, quick little line system. I'll make sure you use system IO. The uh, response response is stream equals. Let's go ahead and use a response dot get stream response. So I'm getting stream response from the response up here. And let's go ahead and open a stream reader. This is what how we're gonna read the data from the stream response reader equals new stream response. So now we need to get the data from file. So Let's use this variable here to save it to it. So result equals reader. Dot read to end. Okay. This one is going to read an entire file information to this variable here. Okay. After it does that. So we have a few options. We can just return this. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's just return the data so you see what's going to happen. So, so let's go ahead and build and run our project. Oh, I forgot we need to call it on the main. So go ahead and not, nothing's happening here so I gotta make sure when I do that I gotta make sure I display it somewhere right so you know it's working so on the forum one load um, routine I'm setting rich text box dot text to this function to this method all right let's go ahead and run it let's make sure it's working this part is working before moving on to the next part. So as you can see here, I do have the data from the text file. I do have the data from the state text file in here. But at this moment right now, it's not being saved locally to my PC. But before we set up the saving part, once we do this, once we get the data from an RFTP server, let's go ahead and close the readers, the, the streams and readers. So the way you do this, you want to make sure you do a reader dot close. And I'm sorry, it's the response. Got to close the response dot close. We don't want any open, you know, requests. So closing. Okay. Now, to, now let's go ahead and set up the routine to set up to save file locally. So in order to do this, let's go ahead and use using Streamwriter. Let's write Streamwriter. Let's use a Streamwriter name file. 
dot create. So this just this will be creating the file and appending data to it at the same time. So and the file we, we can call it, you can call it whatever you want. I want I like to call it to keep it consistent state dot text. Okay. And now the way it's gonna now we gotta make sure we write to the file. So file dot write line we write we put in this into the file and we gotta make sure the result we gotta make sure to use the result here result was the data is result and then you gotta make sure to close the file just like we close the reader and the response here all right and let's go ahead and run it Once again, you should see the data into the screen just like before. So same thing happened. And let's go ahead and make sure we got the, the file. So go to your solution, go to Solution Explorer, right click on it and click open folder in File Explorer. Once it opens, it's gonna open the location of the file. So this, and go to the bin folder, the bug folder, and as you can see, the state.txt files here. As you can see, it has all the data we're looking for. So this is pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment below or visit our blog. Thank you very much.